Hello, my name is Anastasia Gurnina and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I am currently 33 years old. Um, I was born with a few deficiencies in my body. I was born with my feet being very, very flat. And my feet would hurt a lot of times. I walk a lot, like I worked on my feet a lot. They would hurt often, but um, it wasn't something that I didn't learn how to live with. To add on to that issue, my right leg was about an inch shorter than my left leg. I would also lift a lot, a lot of heavy things, which would actually intensify the problem. And what ended up happening is I developed herniated disc in my lower back, in my lumbar region. And the herniated disc continued to get worse and worse. I would go from doctor to doctor, and many doctors couldn't help at all besides like offer me painkillers. There was a period of time I couldn't even walk for eight months. I was actually kind of like stuck in a hunch back position. I, I, I needed God. I depended on God alone. But to go back to another health issue that I experienced over a period of 13 years is something called polycystic ovarian syndrome. So basically what that means is you develop little cysts on your ovaries and these cysts, they like either grow into big cysts or they cause problems with your menstrual cycle, cause problems with hormones and things of that sort. So I, I like suffered from it ever since I was a teenager. I would truly have like a flow coming for months and months and it wouldn't be stopped until like they would introduce some serious hormonal therapy. So the doctors kept urging me to go on birth control um, pills just to stabilize and see if they could find something that would work. Which um, after three years of suffering with this, I finally decided to give it a go. And I took it for like three years the first time, then I tried getting off of it for half a year. It didn't help, no, like the problem was horrible. I would go through excruciating pain. I would end up going back to birth control pills. And actually before coming to Kingdom Domain, I had an issue with my right eye. For a year and a half, my right eye would be tearing like nonstop. But two days before arriving, I noticed my eye is not tearing anymore after a year and a half of constantly going at it. And I'm like, wow, God, you know what? I think you're going to heal me. So the moment I arrive here and walk into the first service, the presence of God and the atmosphere was so thick. I literally felt him come over me. I could barely stand on my feet. God completely like took over and every time I would come in and worship, he would do something new in my body. During morning worship, I literally felt something burst in my ovaries and I, I felt a change. I knew I received my healing and it was something that you know you, you don't see physically but you know that it's there. As I came home, I was really tired. I haven't been sleeping for days, really. Um, there was a lot of things going on spiritually. And as I'm going to bed, all of a sudden, my foot starts hurting a lot, like a pain I've never felt before. As I'm holding my foot and saying to my friend, oh man, Anna, I don't know what is going on right now, but like I've never felt this before. I physically feel under my hand, my foot changing shape. And then after it subsided, I look at my foot, and then I look at my, my left foot, and then I look at my right foot, and they're different. My left foot is like totally arched. My right foot is totally flat. So I ask Anne, I'm like, can you come take a look? And she's like, wow, your feet are so different. And I was thinking that I'm gonna go to sleep now, and he's going to restore my other foot. And little did I know that I was going to wake up and have them different still. We were just gathered in our pastor's office, just sharing testimonies of what happened in Kingdom Domain, and my foot was still different. And he's like, you know what? If your foot is still different, let's just have like one of the girls pray for you. So my friend's mom just takes my legs, and she says the simplest prayer ever. I didn't even feel no tingling, no fire, nothing. But my leg grew out, and my foot became arched. And um, I had an appointment with my doctor for another spinal injection which I would get at this point like six times a year instead of three times a year because the three times a year thing wouldn't last anymore and as I went to my doctor's appointment I was actually in more pain than before I knew I had to come there and either get the treatment or continue to stand in faith for my healing but the second I spoke to him that I have been healed 
and I shared my testimony about my foot and everything with him, literally the pain lifted off and never has come back again. The fact that it was just so beautifully lifted off of me, the moment I proclaimed what he has done for me, even before he has done it, that to me was amazing. But um, what I would like to encourage you with, as we keep our eyes set on God and on Him, as we behold Him, we allow for Him to come in and do what He needs to do in us. Because we oftentimes tend to control God just with the way we expect Him to work, with the way we expect Him to move. And it's interesting that I didn't even have people pray for me really or lay hands on me. But most of the healing that I received in my body was in the moments of worship. When you come to truly worship Him for who He is, 